hamsters. We all love them. I'm pretty sure as a youth, many of you out there had them as pets. I had two of them, one when I was a really small child and one when I was a teenager. I was 20 years old. But anyways, that second one, Frankie, what a legend. At first we thought he was female, but like a year after we got him, he grew a big pair of balls. Uh, yeah, rest in peace, Frankie, you absolute legend. Jungarian story, or as it seems to be known on the eShop in the West, Tales of Jungarian Hamster. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that could have done with another once over by the localization team. Now, I have no idea what Jungarian means, but in my head, uh, in Japanese, I'm hoping it means badass because that would make it so much better. And I'm not heading to Google to spoil that thought. So this is a pet simulation game, as you may have gathered. You take care of hamsters, feed them, customize their cage, and pet them like they're in a Senran Kagura game. As I stated, we all love hamsters, but you know, there's a couple of problems. One, they tend to reek. I mean, how much poop and pee can a small little monster get out of itself? Now, of course, regular cleaning will make that not an issue, but here's the second problem. It requires responsibility, something which younger children and bigger children lack. Falling onto tired, hard-working parents to sort out the mess. Well, Jungarian Hamster takes that all away. Plus, you can make them sing karaoke. You try and make a real hamster sing karaoke. You will be disappointed. Now, sadly, I've only seen screenshots of that happening. I haven't been able to get that far into it to see how to do that. But it would be dangerous anyway, since they'd be doing nothing but singing karaoke if it was up to me. Here we have simple fun for kids. There are plenty of different hamsters. Pretty sure they're all the Jungarian breed, but come in different colors, which I like to quote from the eShop page. Not only pudding and blue sapphire, but also fire, caramel, and chocolate that don't exist in reality appear in this game. So yeah, apparently blue thunder hamsters are not a real thing. After a rather exhaustive tutorial with a mini story to go along with it, you are shown the ropes of what you need to do and how to do it. How to place items in the cage, how to feed them, how to earn hearts. Yes, these hearts are the basic currency of this game, just when you thought it couldn't get any more wholesome and cute. You can earn these just by watching your hamsters go about their business, or you can take part in a couple of mini games. firstly laying down food for hamsters to chase as you guide them to a goal, and the aforementioned touchy-feely part, which you just rub the biggest heart points. By getting through tasks, you'll unlock more and more items, and your cage will increase in population faster than they do in real life thanks to the simple breeding here. You just pay 500 hearts to whichever hamster you want to mate, and they will produce some offspring with different traits, which is kind of cool, I suppose. There's not a whole lot going on here, to be honest. It is a rather simple affair. It's cute for kids who want to look at the screen with hamsters on it, who, you know, randomly decide to take a swig of water or go on their wheel. It will appeal to those who like to create little gardens for their pets, and to those who are all about hamster eugenics. I do have one major complaint though, oh my lord, the camera controls are complete arse gravy. I never thought the most difficult aspect of a hamster simulation game would be just moving the camera around. I genuinely fought more with the controls here than in the last boss fight of whichever game I played last. I thought it might be better in handheld where there's supposedly touch controls, but no, still need to use the analog sticks to arm wrestle with the camera. I can imagine 6 or 7 year olds getting mildly frustrated with moving it around. The visuals, well, they're nicely appealing. The hamsters look really nice, very fluffy and wholesome. And dare I say, make me kind of want to get one. For my daughter, of course. Or maybe I'll just let her play this. She enjoyed watching the hamsters on TV for about 15 minutes. She's three though, just. The audio is rather relaxing as you can imagine. I actually did find it soothing just to have it on in the background while writing this review. Especially in the little village bit. It's well chill and I appreciate it. I might even turn it on from time to time if I want something relaxing going on in the background. Now this is available digitally around the globe. It's £6.79 in the UK, £7.60 in Euros and $9.99 in the US. However, I think there is going to be a small amount of DLC available at a later date, but I'm not 100% sure about that. Now admittedly, it's been a while since I've been engrossed in the world of hamster economics, but I can bet you won't find a real hamster cage and supplies for that amount of money. And you certainly won't get the stink with it. Plus, there's absolutely zero responsibility with Jungarian Hamster. No hamsters are harmed in the playing of this game, especially when you force them to sing karaoke. I will make that happen one day, 
for the amount of content or like thereof, it's actually not that bad at all for kids. Now, there's no physical version of Jungarian Hamster, which is an absolute travesty. The closest we're going to get is a code in a box in Japan, which contains the DLC stuff, which I think is going to happen, as well as some cute little extras like sticker and paper craft or something or other. I think that's what the website says. I don't know, it's in Japanese. Plus, it has just the most magnificent artwork ever created, which I did a full analysis of in my Monday's physical video. I hope you didn't miss that. Although I did get one thing massively wrong in that video, and I cannot apologize enough for it because I said that he was eating a a sesame seed it's not a sesame seed it's a sunflower seed I'm sorry I'm sorry it's a sunflower seed I need to get my seed facts straight if you want this wonderful piece of art yourself full of borderline suicidal hamsters then in the description of this video and pinned comment there are links where you can import the code in a box in Japan now we hate codes in a box, but sometimes when it's got like hamsters on the front of it, like one on a swing 20 foot in the air, you've got to make exceptions. If you use those links, then it also massively helps support the Switch Watch team at the same time. We earn a little bit of each purchase, and you guys are always amazing with that, and we thank you from the bottom of our hearts. And if you do, be sure to send in a picture of your wonderful artwork for Monday Spotlight. Plus, in return, if you use those links, you can get a very swell 5% off if you use the coupon code SWITCHWATCHTV while checking out. That's all one word, SWITCHWATCHTV, when checking out for 5% off any item from PlayAsia. Overall, look, I know this hasn't been a proper review, so sorry if you're here for that. I just wanted to riff on this for like 8 minutes or whatever. But if you want all the fun of a hamster with zero responsibility attached to it, and you don't fancy the smell either, then Jungarian Hamster may be a good one if you have young kids or kids at heart. Its visuals are surprisingly decent, and there's enough here for the rather low price. It's not breaking the bank. Also, who can say no to hamsters? How is it possible to rate this game? I don't know. It's a hamster with a flamethrower out of 10. Take that however you want to. All right, many thanks for watching this review. Big up to our executive producers, Dane Wilkinson, God of Resin, Boombox, Brent McLean, Jonathan Room Organicus, Santa Tartaruga, Alolan Jojo, Alexander Cato, J. Cross 7776, Elisa, Punky Dooster, Michael Del Polito, Cigar Trucker, Cartoon Soren, and Jack Severus, plus you, yes, you, watching right now. The longer you watch, the more YouTube likes us and shares our stuff to other people. Not that anyone is ever going to click this video, aside from you, Legend, but just show me who you are in the comments by leaving a little hamster emoji in the comments and I will give you one back with a flamethrower if that exists. Alright, check out some of our other content such as our weekly physicals video on Monday, James's bargains video on Sunday, plus a healthy smattering of other videos that we have. Have a gander. We'll see you guys over there. Have a good one.